Oh, here's a good one. A good one. Good and uh, is Minecraft the best video game ever? Now, when it comes to these kind of things, it's real subjective, you know. So we'll answer it subjectively. I think Minecraft has a lot going for it. It's it's an old game. I won't deny that. I mean, even if you don't play with other people, just the assurance that this game is still alive and breathing is amazing. You know. So how many reasons have I stated? Um, oh, here, look! Wow, a list appeared stating all the reasons that I just said. So, the reasons that I stated is that you can play on the different versions of Minecraft and yeah, people still play on older versions and in some of those, if not all, if not most, some of those uh, versions have servers that are still in that version, which is crazy and awesome. Please keep this game alive. <laughs> the next one was uh, mods. Yeah, a lot of mods. Uh, looking at you, 1.12.2 or 1.12. So from what I know, that version was a stable version. So I think that's why there's a lot of mods there. A lot of good mods. It's quite varied. But I know there's a lot of mods for 1.12.2. There's even a backport mod, which is crazy in of itself, where features from the later versions of Minecraft are ported back to 1.12.2. And it's just a fun time, honestly. And then you can just play 1.20 on 1. 12 and then have all the mods that you get from 1.12 and it's a banger <laughs> banger gameplay my dude I think also that version has the creme de la creme movie maker mods which is amazing it's a shame you don't have it on 1.20 but then again people are going to complain hey why don't you have it for 1.21 and stuff like that this game is over 10 years old and with time comes mods. The later mods have become, some of them, have become vanilla-esque. It looks good, you know? It's not to say the old mods are bad, it's just now they look, you know, more in line with uh, vanilla Minecraft, I guess. And then the third reason was, it's uh, not $60. Well, of course, it's a 10-year-old game. You're not going to pay $60 for a 10-year-old game. So I don't know if this is fact, but when it released, Minecraft was $26.95, and that was just Java. And I don't think that price on the website, Minecraft.net, ever changed. <laughs> ever changed over the course of many years when it was just Java as itself. I could be wrong. There might have been a sale. I don't remember. It, come on. Give me a break. Ten years ago, bro. <laughs> and then that changed when they bundled the two games, right? Still, though, uh, considering the $3 price hike, $30 for Bedrock and Java is still a steal, right? And then the next uh, reason was it's popular, yes. The game is still very much alive and uh, people say it's dying. It could get less players at times and I don't know, I'm not the guy who keeps uh, numbers, but if you look on, if you look on YouTube, you know, people watch those Minecraft videos, so I'm pretty sure it's still alive. And then, of course, the last reason is the game itself. Of course, how could we not how how could we not forget that? Uh, it's a game where you can explore the world, 
why did I say it like that? Explore the world, explore the world, mine for resources, get the best armor, you know, and then explore the three dimensions, and then at the end, you can defeat the Ender Dragon. It doesn't outright say to you that you have to defeat the Ender Dragon, you can ultimately not have to kill the Ender Dragon and you can still play the game, but it's there if you want to. And I think that's the thing that I like about Minecraft. It provides you with something to do, but then ultimately you have the choice, you have the freedom whether you want to defeat the Ender Dragon or you don't. If you want to destroy the whole world, you can. If you want to build something, you can. It's amazing. I love it. There's uh, survival, if you're into that. Then there's also creative, if you're into that. And then hardcore, if you're real hardcore. And then slap some mods on that. Bam. The best uh, Minecraft experience you can ask for. Okay, so back to the question. Is Minecraft the best video game ever? Uh, okay, to answer this question in a way that I can answer it the best that I can is I'll provide some context. So I'll judge it in terms of three variables. Gameplay, story, and graphics. Up front and center, in terms of gameplay, this is hands down the best game that I've ever played in terms of gameplay. Because I've already stated earlier, you have freedom, but then there's an objective, but you're not forced to do that. And it doesn't hold your hand, you know, it gives freedom. And yes, Minecraft does have its flaws. Like, for example, I think um, progression has gotten substantially easier because of the trades and the loot chests. But you could always remove them. Everything else it more than compensates for. In terms of story, Minecraft doesn't really have a story. It does have lore. Well, to be more precise, it's more like quasi-lore. It's lore. <laughs> For that lore, you kind of had to dig a little deeper, read the books. And when I say books, I mean the books that Mojang released. And then there's YouTube videos that that allude to the to the, for example, the existence of ancient builders, which now is, I think, it is canon now. And then, of course, the ending to the gameplay, the objective is uh, defeating the Ender Dragon. Would you say that's the ending of the story? Uh, for your server, might be. Is it the ending of the story for Minecraft? I I don't know. I feel like there should be more. But yeah, <laughs> for what Minecraft has for the story, it's good. There's some allure to it. There's a bit of mystery, and I guess in that it leaves the player to kind of piece together some things well the things that are still left out maybe in the future will be filled in but yeah so for the graphics um yeah so uh i guess the graphics is it uh kiddish because of the blocks i don't know i mean subjectively for me the graphics don't really bother me it's good it's uh different I guess and I know some people will say uh, uh, the graphics look it's too kiddy for me uh, uh, you know I would say the same if probably if I started out Minecraft today and not 10 years ago because you can say but you could say the same thing about Roblox but then you look at Roblox now and then you have these like the top of the line shooter would what game was that? I forgot what it was called. Um, but there's a really there, there's two good shooters that I know from Roblox, and times have changed. So it, it's a game for everyone, you know. If you want to, if you choose to, should you accept this mission? Dun, 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 dun. I don't really know how to 
where the, the graphics don't bother me. And then if the graphics don't suffice, the vanilla graphics, then I can always put on some shaders and it looks infinitely better. Subjectively, in my honest opinion. <laughs> okay, so overall, I think it's one of the best games I've ever played. Is nostalgia playing a factor into that? Maybe. But uh, despite its flaws, the really the gameplay makes up so much for it because it allows you so much freedom, which is what I like. So there you have it, a game from our childhoods, kids from the early 2000s. You know this better than anyone. Now it's your turn to answer the question. Is Minecraft the best video game ever made? For me? It's yes. <laughs>